has also spoken up. Listen in. To Article 370, it was a historic decision of Prime Minister Modi's government when, in August 2019, something that was meant to be a temporary provision of the constitution was done away with. The existence of Article 370 had led to a feeling of separatism, and then it was leading to a feeling of secessionism. That can we move away from it? A false narrative was created at that time, and prior to it, for the last 70 years. that as if the accession of the state of jammu and kashmir into india was incomplete and it hinged on article 370 which was false incorrect baseless so the modi government removed this ensured that these kind of secessionist and separatist thoughts cannot exist modi government pradeep might have tried that these secessionist and separatist thought do not exist but as kavinder gupta pointed out there are some people who are used to doing this politics of divide and rule and which is why that mentality is what now needs to be abrogated but what will it take yes absolutely right in fact this is uh, this mindset is to be in fact defeated that's what actually is the big challenge right now for the government because though on ground it doesn't exist but psychologically they are further trying to instigate differences in the minds of the people that's what they are trying they are trying to sow that sow a seeds of dissent in the minds of the people because what actually article 370 rightly said it led to algabad it led to atakwat it led to parivarwad it was helping them only but now nobody was talking about the rashtrawad because rashtrawad means it's not only about the nationalism and patriotism rashtrawad is also about providing equal rights and respect uh, to the people and dignity to the people the people who were not who were totally marginalized because of the system that was existing on the ground with the um, article uh, uh, 370 being abrogated we have seen that once again there is a smile on the faces i've been interacting with them not only people in jammu region but people in kashmir region also feeling very happy look at the things how things have really changed g20 now the, the, was held after it was for the first time we saw the people coming from different parts of the country tourists flocking over to that region it has given boom to the Economy of decision, cinema halls that were closed because of uh, terrorism and fundamentalism. We have seen the cinema halls opening not only in Shrinagar but also in South Kashmir. That is how about terror-related activities. And besides this, we have seen that stone pelting has come to screeching halt. Now, when the Supreme Court put a stamp on abrogation of Article 370, validating a decision of the government, see what really? Not a single person came out on street. Nobody was shedding tear. Nobody was pelting stone. There was no hartal. That what does what does that indicate? That means people. People have accepted the verdict, and they have seen the kind of a change that has brought in in their lives after abrogation of Article 370. And four years, they have seen that thing happening. The only people who are crying hoarse, they are these political party leaders because they know they have lost all those privileges and benefits which they were getting because of Article 370. Because that Article 370 was a stone wall. It was right. preventing people from getting those benefits. It was also preventing proper integration of Jammu and Kashmir with the rest of the country. And with that wall gone, now you can see there is no difference. People of Kashmir are enjoying the same. rights what the people in different parts of india had and been enjoying and which is why so one is forced to wonder whether it is the special status for the state that is that has been now taken away that worries these politicians or is it the special status that was accorded to these politicians by virtue of article 370 that has them unnerved right now we have also got reaction coming in from the national conference here is what hasnan masoodi had to say ये वो देखिए जो उन्होंने कहा जो जो भी बात उन्होंने की उस बात मुझे लगता है कि जो उनका एक जो उनकी हैसियत है वो आइन के तहत है हमारी हैसियत हर एक की हैसियत नागरिक की जो भी प्राइम मिनिस्टर हो या कोई हो उसकी आइन और आइन ही ये फैसला करता है कि क्या होगा क्या नहीं होगा बात यह है कि अभी देखिए जब से ये फैसला आया कितने एक आपने भी देखे होंगे कितने एक लेख आ गए कितने राइट अप्स आ गए कितने एडिटोरियल्स आ गए और कितनी ओपिनियंस आ गई हमारे सीनियर जज साहिबान की क्या मालूम सुप्रीम कोर्ट का खुल ही उनका संज्ञान लेकर उनका उनको अपने नोट्स में लेकर वो अपना ही खुद अपने फैसले पर नजर चाइन करे ये कहे कि नहीं जी हम पर वाजिब था कि हम आर्टिकल थर्टी थ्री के बारे में जो विभाजन की बात है उस पर अपना फैसला देती है हमें मौखर नहीं करना चाहिए था